Hello and welcome to Web Learning where knowledge is shared. And welcome again to What Did I Get? This time I got a few more packages that I want to show you and I'll try to tell you what they are and what I'm going to use them for. So let's get started. And another small package. These are wire fasteners or, uh, using a spring. Um, if you're not following me in Instagram, you should. I've uploaded a new design that I made for uh, my diving watch using a bungee cord. And um, this design made me run out of the previous springs I was using. So I just ordered another uh, 10 of them. Another unknown package. Well, if you've seen one of my previous what did I get, there was also a few other types of uh, bridge rectifier. These ones are quite big. They're rated at 600 volts and I think uh, 10 amps. This case has a hole because usually you stick it to a heat sink and to cool it down. I'm going to use it uh, for 24 volts AC and then I'm getting 24 volts DC and I'm not going to use a lot of power so this should be sufficient. These are CR2450 uh, big batteries. These are for my Sunto diving watch. Uh, those are the batteries that are being used. Usually a kit costs about uh, 10 or 12 euros. All these batteries cost about uh, 4 or 5 euros. Plus uh, I found uh, the type of o-ring I need to use. In total instead of paying 12 euros per kit, I, now I have each kit uh, about a euro, euro and a half. When you're getting batteries, it is very important to see what is the shelf life of the batteries I contacted the seller asking him what year those batteries are good for uh, because he didn't have it on his uh, web page and as you can see it's 2028 so it's 10 years from now so this means those are brand new batteries uh, very good batteries very good sellers uh, most likely uh, original Sony one this is a 20 watt cup bright light. I already opened the box. It comes with a USB cable. This light has a large floodlight, a phone emergency charge, charging power display, and USB micro charging interface. It can either have uh, two 18650 or three AA batteries, so it's quite versatile. In the back, there is the battery cover. I've inserted already two 18650 and you can put here three AA batteries. There is also a port here to charge your mobile phone and to plug a USB to charge it. If I plug the USB cable you can see now that the batteries are fully charged but when they discharge the lights will go down slowly. The port itself has an o-ring. It looks like a water resistant but I wouldn't uh, put it in heavy rain because of the actually case of the batteries. That's not completely sealed and there is no o-ring whatsoever. There is a switch to turn on the lights. So first the first click turns on the small flashlight. Uh, the flashlight doesn't work if you have the handle so we pretty much have to move the handle to the top and then you can shine the light itself another click turns on the, the LEDs and another one another one flashes and the last one shuts it down there is a handle to hold it this way or to hang it that way um, or even more a little bit uh, in an upright position but there is no way uh, to hang it lower or uh, 
even if you want to hang it like that from the top it's not always um, stable it can work if you try the next package that I uh, already opened was a digital indicator this indicator I'm going to use it also to the mini lathe machine that I have this one is uh, 0 0.01 resolution and 0 to 25.4 millimeters in length it uses uh, small SR44 batteries and uh, that's about it um, it has a on off switch you can change between inches and millimeters and you can zero out if you want to move it uh, I already put the battery in it's right here in this compartment and there is another compartment but it's empty it was supposed to be a USB connector but there's nothing there now if I push it really slowly you can see it's moving the response time is not that great it's really hard to see it moving and it takes time until it stabilizes even though I'm trying to move it really really slow you can see that it's not moving 0.01 millimeter even though I'm tr really trying to move it slowly I can zero it out uh, somewhere else and you can see it's pretty accurate so if I move it to uh, 1.65 it's 1.65 the head has a small ball if you have something that needs to rotate uh, that's not a problem and it can swing even more than 25 so this one is 26 by 14 the LCD is not also not that great you can see some flickering on the side in this case it's really hard to see exactly what I'm trying to read but except for that it's it's okay I'll have to try and see how accurate it is using my other tools and compare between them the fact that it's not that uh, smooth and it doesn't read really quickly it could be a problem when using a mini lathe because you you actually want to see what's going on and you have to have a faster response time the back cover uh, comes either a plate or you can place it with another plate that can uh, hold um, with other fixtures that have this type of connector okay to an unclosed package these are mobile phone holders uh, with the spring I'm using sometimes my mobile phone to record some of my videos and I have a tripod so this is much easier to connect them to a tripod spring is quite uh, strong and uh, you can either have it uh, line, in, line up like this or like this it's using uh, the standard M4 screw next package these are uh, small DC to DC converters that I got uh, very tiny so these are uh, 4.75 to 23 volt input and the output is 1 volt to 17 volt with uh, 3 amp peak and uh, 1.8 maximum uh, for a long time so you can see it's very tiny and there is a small variable resistor here that you can change it and um, you can control the output voltage um, so this is the out and this is the in and there is an arrow pointing I'm going to use it for different projects uh, some of them are LEDs that I need to light and I have uh, just a regular power supply that has 24 volts or 12 volts output and I can control the output to 12 volts for the LEDs so it's a very simple uh, DC to DC this is also an open package this is a full bridge rectifier so this is a 2W06 this is a 2 amp 600 volt full bridge rectifier I just want to be sure that I can use that correctly when I'm using a simple AC to AC transformers and then to output the plus minus in the right way so here's another package 
some more battery connectors. If you've seen the movie that I made for my um, LED light, I always use this when I go camping to all my batteries or all my connections. Uh, this is a standard connection that I use for everything. So it's quite easy to, for me to mix and match between the different connectors and the different uh, lights and other power adapters that I have. Another box. Another LED light. So this one is a different one. It looks the same. Package is less nice. This one is a different package. It doesn't have the light on the side as the one before. It does have the phone charger and the plug to charge the device. This one you cannot remove it, so it has a rechargeable battery inside. Uh, the batteries are almost empty. This one is a bit more water resistant because the package is uh, sealed. And it also has the o-ring on the side here. And you can only turn it on once and uh, lower them, flash and off. So this one doesn't have the flashlight, but you can see how it works. And it's a different it's just a different one same uh, mechanism of the handle uh, grip for the fingers it's quite balanced it's lighter so the battery is uh, smaller probably maybe it use it's using uh, one battery inside i don't know how long it will last and whatever they publish most likely it's not the real case it could be, i think it would be much lower than uh, what's advertised it comes also with a USB cable. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for tuning. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bells when I'm uploading new videos. Thank you.